In this video, let us discuss about measures of central tendency. A central tendency or average is a single value which represents the entire data. Here, in, here we have the data values 2, 4, 6 and 8. When we add all these data values, it sums up to 20. And when we divide by number of data values considered here, which is 4, if I divide 20 by 4, we will be getting it as 5. So 5 is the representative figure which represents the entire data set. So here 5 is called as the central tendency. So average is somewhere within the range of data. It is therefore it is called a measure of central tendency. So there are three major measures of central tendency which are mean otherwise arithmetic mean, the median and the mean. So now let us see how we can find arithmetic mean for an individual data or raw data. So when we have got a raw data, let us say x1, x2, etc, xn and let n be the number of uh, uh, data, then we define the arithmetic mean as x bar is equal to sum of all the data divided by number of data. So that is total of x divided by n. So now let us uh, uh, go, let us take one example here. Here we can see that in this table we have got salary of graduating students from a business school. So now let us find the arithmetic mean that is the salary, the average salary of the graduating students. So we use the formula mean or average is equal to sum of the observation divided by number of the observations. Then x bar is equal to total of x divided by n. So if you add all the salary, the total is 26 lakhs and totally we have got 10 observations. So we, when we divide 26 lakhs divided by 10, we got the average as 2,60,000. So this is how we find the average for the individual observations. So now let us see how to find the average for the discrete observations. So if you have the observations called x1, x2, etc, xn, if they have repeated f1, f2, f3 number of times, then the arithmetic mean is given by x bar is equal to total of f1 into x1 plus f2 into x2, etc, fn into xn divided by the total frequency. So that is total of fx divided by n gives us the arithmetic mean for all the discrete series. Now let us take an example. Here we have got the students in a statistics class who are trying to study the heights of participants in a sports meet. They collected the height of 20 participants. So here we can see the data displayed here. So we have got one participant whose height is 49 inches. We have got two participants whose height is 53 inches. Similarly, the data goes on. So now we shall find the arithmetic mean of the height of the participants or the average height of the participants. So in order to calculate that, we shall consider a columns. We shall prepare a column in this way. So here height represents the variable. So let us call it as x and the number of participants represents the frequency. So here multiply 49 with 1. So we get 49. So that comes under fx column. So frequency multiplied with the variable. So here 53 is repeated. The data 53 is repeated two number of times. So when we multiply 53 into 2, we get 106. The height 54 inches is repeated 4 number of times. So when we multiply 54 into 4, we get 216. So like that, multiply all the x values with the corresponding f values and then list in the fx column. So and then find the total of fx so which will sum to 1200 and here as stated we have got they have collected 20 participants 
So if you add all the F column data, you will be getting N is equal to 20. So in this data, we have got 20 number of data. So after that, let us apply the formula X bar is equal to total of Fx divided by N. So we will be getting that 1200 and divided by 20 and then it will be equal to 60 inches. So here the mean height or the average height of the students who participated in a sports meet is equal to 60 inches. So now let us see how to find the arithmetic mean for continuous observations. So here we are, there are, we are, you can apply the shortcut method also. Here I am using the direct method. So in the direct method, the X bar, the arithmetic mean is given by total of F into M divided by N. What is M here? M is the mid value of the classes and F is the frequency of each class and n is the total frequency. Let us take one more example to understand better about the arithmetic mean of continuous observations. Here is an example. We have got age of 55 patients and then we, are, uh, we want to study here the effectiveness of a particular medicine. So, and then we want to calculate the mean age of the patients in this data. So here got five patients who are under the age 0 to 10 years, who are 0 and then below 10 years. And then when I say 10 to 20, this includes those patients whose, uh, who, those whose age is 10 and above but not 20. So you have got 17 patients whose age is 20 and above but not 30. So like that the data goes on. And then we want to calculate here the mean age of the patients. How do we calculate? Construct a table. So here age is given to us and then number of patients are given to us which comes under the frequency column. And then find mid value of each classes. How do you find the mid value of each class? You can apply 0 plus 10 divided by 2. You will be getting it as 5. Otherwise we can identify so 0 to 10 when we have the number series in that 5 is the middle value of this class 0 to 10. So similarly 15 is the mid value of the class 10 to 20. It's a mid point or the mid value of the class 10 to 20. So similarly 25 is the mid value of the class 20 to 30. So you can you can identify it if it is difficult to identify then how do we do it? Take the lower limit, lower limit is 20 and take the upper limit, upper limit is 30, 20 plus 30 divided by 2 when you do, you will be getting the mid value as 25. So calculate the mid value of each class, then multiply this mid value with the frequency. So that is nothing but Fx. So here we multiplied 5 into 5, so we'll be getting 25. Similarly, multiply 15 with 7, you'll be getting 105. Like that, multiply all the x value with corresponding f value and then add all this fx value, you'll be getting 1765. So now we have a formula x bar is equal to total of f into x. So here mid value, I have considered it as x. If you want, you can consider it as M. Then it will become F into M divided by N. But now I have taken the mid value as X here. Therefore, I am writing the formula X bar is equal to total of Fx divided by N. So 1765 divided by 55 will give you the average age of the patients considered in this data set. This is how we find the average or the arithmetic mean of the continuous observations.